Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial on how to level up very easily and get some high level materials very early game. So basically in when you go and do the story, you'll get you have to go to near Kera, which is where I am now, and you'll have to go to this spirit way, uh, which I'm showing right now. You have to go to here. Uh, to continue with the story, and there's also this other access point called Zagat Flood Meadow, which for some reason they haven't closed off, and it's a level 40 plus area, so it's got all the high level materials, all the high level monsters, so it just makes for very easy leveling, and very easy like uh, leveling up the shops because of the high level materials. Uh, I'll try and find an example. Yeah, here. So, can you, as you can see, Sapphire Shell. I just got this from one of the Sparking Points, probably. And 930 points. So that will get the shop up to about level 8, just with 1. And if you have bonuses, who knows? It's just, so, you just go to Neokera and go out this exit to the Flood Meadow. Then once you get here, don't get in, like, don't go into contact with any monsters, because some of them, it, it's very, they're very hard to defeat. And these little like chick things, I find them definitely the easiest to get the XP off of. And that you definitely have to have it on easy, because it's just at this level, early game, you will not be able to defeat this these unless you're on easy. But before we do that, I'll show you the sparkle points and loot bags and stuff. And you can get some very high level materials. It's awesome how you can level up the shop so early. It's a really good exploit. Alright, well that's only 240, but oh well. <laughs> it's still a lot more than like the 20 or whatever that you'd be getting in the normal areas. 50. Well, you do get a lot of like normal ones here, but you do get, get some special ones. Oh yeah, and in the sacks, a lot of the sacks contain 3,000 gold. So that's very, that comes in handy. Alright, I'll just go get this sparkle point over here. Try and showcase it. So that one's 420, still not great. Oh yeah, these water spirits drop this, it's some sort of like metal, which is worth loads of points. But I wouldn't recommend that until you use this exploit to level up quite a lot, because they'll just crush you at the moment. Alright, I'm just going to continue trying to look for some. Is that, yeah, there's a sparkle point. If you're only interested in the easy leveling bit, then I'll probably just like have an annotation where you can skip to that or something. Well, that wasn't a very good run, but you, it, if you do it for a while, you get some very high-level stuff like I have. And if you're only out to get the materials, I would highly recommend using a holy bottle. Because then none of the enemies spawn, and you can just run around getting the materials straight away. And now I'll show you how to defeat the high-level enemies. First of all, you have to set it on easy. So... It, you get them to like follow you, and then you run around until like a little exclamation point comes up, and they're not longer a fight like that. And then you hold circle to stalk them and just go up behind them, and you, they should start with half health. Oh crap! I, <laughs> I might not be able to do this because we have got him. We have got a different monster that isn't one of the chick ones, so it's going to be difficult. I'll give it a go though. And really, use the link arts. They are your best friend on doing this. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna, probably gonna fail this. So it is very risky, you've got to constantly save. But as you get the hang of it... Uh, as you get the hang of it, you will it will become a lot easier. And you'll be able to get to about level 30, and <laughs> it'll be one when you're only a few hours into the game. Very good, very good exploit. So I'll try that again. So as I said, you've got to stalk them. Otherwise, if you have, if one, if you have it so they start on full health, you'll just get crushed. Trust me. They basically one hit you. See, stalk. Oh yeah, you hold circle to stalk. By the way. Come on. Oh, it would have helped if I would have actually healed her at the start. 
Yeah, so wait, make sure your characters have full health at the start. As I say. Come on. See, there we go, 246 experience. Absolutely fantastic, as opposed to like this 50 you get normally. And to enhance this further, you can use food to get you like 30 plus experience. I mean 30% more experience. Like the soda rice. See, 30% more. And yeah, it's just a really good exploit for early game. Thanks so much for watching guys, and subscribe to Big Rod Master for more tricks on Tales of Xenia. Alright, fuck it, I'm not taking these guys. Oh yeah, wait, actually, this is the gentleman. He yields loads of experience, but he's really hard to defeat. But if you can, definitely try it. And I think he drops some amazing materials. So, yeah, as I said, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tricks in Tales of Zillia.